Today, I'm going to show you all the best things to do in Bali. 40 of the best places from A to Z. Ahmed Beach, beautiful, clean pebble beach, fields undiscovered, and the lack of crowds, colorful reefs, and calm turquoise water with lots of natives and numerous restaurants. This makes Ahmed Beach one of the best beaches in Bali. From Kuda, Ahmed Beach is 95 kilometers, which takes two hours drive to get there. Standard hotel cost ranges from $15 to $30 per night. Two to three days is more than sufficient to stay in Ahmed. Activities that you can do in Ahmed are spend the day on the beach, catch a beautiful sunrise or sunset, go snorkeling or diving, see the Ahmed Sea Salt Farm, or just stop by the local Kulig Village Market. Bali Bird Park Bali Bird Park is located at the Guyanyar Regency. Admission cost is $24. More than 1,300 birds representing more than 250 species is enclosed in the protective aviary. Bali Zoo Park 25 kilometers from Kuta and it takes 52 minutes to drive there. Admission cost $48. Home to over 500 rare and exotic animals. It is a large zoo where you can observe the behavior of the orangutans, elephants, and African lions, plus interactive encounters and shows. This is great for the whole family. Banjar Hot Spring. This is located five kilometers southwest of Lovina. Admission cost $1.28. It is a beautiful hot spring surrounded by a stunning natural landscape. The bathing pools are constructed around the hot water spring source. Banjar Hot Spring offers therapeutic and recreational benefits. Hence, the yellowish-red sedimentation at several points of the sprouts and pool. On a side note, we have decided to share our journey after years of travel. We will be making tons of exciting new videos. If you would like to be notified when new ones are made, click that like and subscribe button now. Batu Natural Hot Spring Located in the mountains of Batur, you'll find a crystal clear infinity pool with panoramic views over a tranquil lake and beautiful surroundings. Admission cost $12.72 Bird watching The West National Park is home to the Bali starling and host many resident and migrant species. The most frequent visitors are the beach stone curlew, javan plover, sunda tail, greater sand plover, the great tail tattler, the broad-billed sandpiper, and so much more. Hiking through the West National Park is a good experience and exercise, but also spotting the birds is sometimes tricky, like in all natural habitats. Tour cost $70. The Brahma Vihara Arama Temple. Located in Banjar District of Bulelang. Admission cost $1.27. This is the largest Buddhist monastery in Bali with beautiful gardens and meditation areas. It is ideally located on a hill giving you a great view of the city in a relaxed and tranquil atmosphere. Siking Rice Stars Located 45 kilometers from Kuda which is an hour and 30 minutes drive. Admission cost $3.00 or any of the other numerous rice terraces located throughout the island. The green terrace provides a relaxing atmosphere. There are numerous swings at each rice terrace to take that famous Instagram photograph. Siluk Swing and Luwak Coffee Located 50 minutes drive or 24 kilometers from Kuta. There are numerous coffee plantations in Bali with friendly staffs that are there to introduce you to the unique flavors of Bali's coffee. Upon arrival, you get to try 15 different types of coffees and tea. Lua coffee is a must try. Coffee plantation swings are usually a great alternative as they are not as crowded. 
Garuda Wisnu Kenkana Cultural Park. The GWK Park is located in the southern part of Bali. Admission cost $7.34. You will find the ultimate destination for those seeking a unique cultural experience. The GWK Cultural Park is home to the magnificent Garuda Wisnu Kenkana statue which stands tall at 121 meters. Exceptional customer service and dance performances are usually performed daily and are included in the ticket price. Git Git Waterfall is located in North Bali near the Singaraja area. Admission cost $1.27. The hike to the waterfall takes around 15 minutes. Git Git Waterfall is known for its height and natural swimming pool and is accessible by a rocky walking trail. The Two Kersey Mountain. Located 132 kilometers from Kuta and it takes three hours and 30 minutes to get there. Admission cost free. Batu Kursi Mountain is a 1.3 mile trail with an elevation of 413 feet. It takes less than an hour to climb but the reward at sunrise or sunset is amazing. Climb to the peak for sunrise as you can see the sun coming out to show its splendor over the ocean village. If you are in the Lavina or Bulaleng area, greeting the sun this way is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Buyan Lake Trail, 70 kilometers from Kuta and a two hours drive to get there. It had cost just $31, which included the tour guide and transportation from Lavina. Buyan Lake Trails, one of the most beautiful nature and vegetarian scenery on the island. You can admire the tranquility of Buyan Lake and feel the coolness of the air. It is nestled in the midst of an extremely dense and untouched tropical forest. The 8.9 mile trail with an elevation of 3,984 feet it takes an average of three hours and 46 minutes to cross it. Hot Springs in Banjuadang, 142 kilometers from Kuta, which takes three hours and 30 minutes to get there. Admission cost, $1.27. I have been to all the hot springs in Bali, and this is my favorite. I have visited here five times. The water is always hot and clean. It's truly a hidden gem. Always quiet, food and drinks available on site. You can visit the Banjuadan Hot Springs from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Open every day except on May P Day. Hot Spring Volcano Sari. This is located 76 kilometers from Kuta and it takes one hour and 46 minutes to get there. Admission cost 312. If you want to dodge the crowds after climbing Mount Batur, this is for you. This hot spring is small but way less crowded than the other alternatives. Japanese Shipwreck The Japanese Shipwreck Point is usually accessed from a small town called Tula Bend. Tour cost $30. Where the beach is unique with black pebble stone and is very private. If you are a diver, this is definitely for you. The wreck is about 5 meters deep and about 20 meters from the beach. You can dive or snorkel at this point and enjoy all the fantastic wildlife. If you like this video and would like for us to make more, please click the subscribe button. The Kikok Yuluwatu Yuluwatu. Location 23 kilometers from Kuta and 38 minutes drive. Ticket cost $8.83 or any cultural dance which are performed in abundance throughout the island. One of the best ways to immerse yourself in Bali's culture is through dance and the Kikok Yuluwatu Yuluwatu Temple has you covered. Kuta Market is one of the most visited markets in Kuta. 
and is near numerous popular places such as Beach Walk, Hard Rock Cafe, and the famous Kuta Beach. The market has a lot of vendors, so if you are searching for souvenirs to take home, this is an ideal stop for you. Kuta Beach is famous for its picturesque sunset, surfing, or just getting a tan. Kuta Beach is centrally located with many restaurants. It gets a bit overcrowded, especially for sunset, but it is worth a visit, if only for the experience. Lake Buyani, located 70 kilometers from Kuta, one hour and 40 minutes drive. You can purchase your ticket with the hike tour. Lake Buyan is located in the Pan Kasari village. This lake is one of three lakes formed inside a large caldera. You will enjoy the unparalleled views of Tamblingen and Buyan lakes. The air here is very fresh and cool, far from air pollution. Indeed, a great place to relax. Le Puyang Temple is 85 kilometers from Kuta, which takes two hours to drive there. Admission cost, $6.30. Le Puyang Temple. The Le Puyang Temple is home to the Le Puyang Gates of Heaven which has a stunning location outlooking Mount Ayung. It is a very iconic place to take pictures with Mount Ayung in the background. The wait time can be up to four hours. The recommended time to visit is early in the morning before 9 a.m. or in the late afternoon after 3 p.m. In the early morning, you can get a cooler and fresher atmosphere. In the late afternoon, you can take pictures with the sunset in the background. Lavina Beach. Lavina Beach is located two hours and 30 minutes from Kuta, which makes it 87 kilometers. Lavina Beach is a resort area on the north coast. It's known for its black sand beaches, coral reefs, and dolphins. Most of the beaches in Lavina are perfectly safe to swim and have much calmer waters than the crash and surf that you will find in South Bali. The Bali Sea does get better than that. This is my favorite breakfast when I'm in Lavina. Dolphin tour is done from the Lavina beach. You can purchase a ticket when you get there for $6.32 from the captain. As most stores start at 5.30 a.m., just as the sun begins to show its splendor. It is one of the best sunrises you can appreciate. The experience is impressive, either swimming with the dolphin or sheer excitement of chasing the dolphins to see them as they show their exceptional skills going in and out of the ocean. You are also permitted to swim with the dolphins. Masiti Beach. Located 30 kilometers from Kuta, which takes you 39 minutes drive to get there. As a famous serpent spot among beaches in Guyanar, it features huge and fast waves ready to be conquered. The shimmering black sand and mozi rocks invite you to spend your day laying in the sun and enjoying the view. The Monkey Forest in Ubud. Admission cost $16.86 or any other location where the monkeys are in such abundance. I was immensely impressed at how well the monkeys were being taken care of while being permitted to be totally free. The park is well maintained. You can walk around and cross streams, stop at the on-site paint gallery, and end your day with a refreshing ice cream or snack. Mount Banter. Located 76 kilometers from Kuta, it will take you two hours to drive there. Tour cost, $30. Mount Batur is one of the best climbs you can challenge yourself to do. The trek takes approximately two to three hours to reach the summit. And the terrain can be steep and rocky in some areas with an elevation of 1,717 meters. On the way to the top, it is a beautiful scenic view. In some places, you may feel the steam coming out of the ground from the volcano. At the mountain's peak, you get some feeling of euphoria 
like being above the clouds as you watch the sunrise and eat breakfast from the on-site restaurants. Mount Ayun, located right next to Mount Bajur. Tour cost, $45. Challenging to climb the Mount Bajur. With an elevation of 3,031 meters, it takes about five to seven hours. Mount Ayung is steeper than Mount Bajur and offers more challenge for a greater reward at the end, knowing that you have just climbed Mount Ayung, the highest mountain in Bali. Mount Injin and the Blue Fire. Located in Java and is visited from Bali. Either fly to Java or get transported to Banjueden and catch a ferry over to Java. Tour cost $70. Trekking Mount Engine to see the Blue Fire is on most climbers' bucket list. Tour takes about 12 hours. The part time to be before 2 a.m. from the base of Mount Engine to see the Blue Fire and catch the sunrise. Mount Engine elevation is 2,769 meters. It takes three to four hours to reach to the peak and approximately 30 minutes to climb into the crater to see the blue fire. Sulfur mining is also done in the crater and sulfur souvenirs are sold on site to share your triumphant victory of the climb. Air Sunny Natural Swimming Pool 102 kilometers from Kuta, which takes two hours and 35 minutes to drive there. Admission cost 63 cents. Permuteran Beach, 128 kilometers from Kuta, which makes that three hours and 17 minutes drive away. Permuteran Beach is known as a destination for good diving and snorkeling. Experience the serenity at the Permuteran Beach, where a phenomenal underwater temple awaits. Dive into the tranquility and marvel at the beauty beneath the waves. A place with beautiful scenery, award-winning coral reefs, and a serene beach far away from the hustle and bustle of South Bali. Pura, Tirta, and Paul. One hour and 10 minutes drive from Kuta, which is 48 kilometers away. Admission cost, $3.15. Pura, Tirta Impul Hindu Temple was founded around a large water spring. Temple is famous for its holy spring water, where Balinese, Hindus, and tourists go for ritual purification. The Ayung River rafting is 50 minutes drive from Kuta to the location, which is 34 kilometers away. Tour cost $66. Enjoy the white water rafting adventure at Ayung River, the most beautiful and longest river in Bali. Enjoy the beautiful natural scenery from start to finish while paddling along the river. Discover the hidden waterfalls and enjoy a swim in the pristine waters and gain insight into Bali's river ecology. The Royal Palace on the Water Located 73 kilometers from Kuda, which takes two hours drive to get there. Admission cost $1.58. The Royal Palace on the Water used to be the resting place of the king and also a place to entertain his guests. Equipped with three main fish pools filled with various ornamental fishes. In the present day, the palace is often used as a pre-wedding place because the scenery is so beautiful and unique. Every corner of this water palace has its own beauty and it's always fun to explore. Senor Beach, located 27 miles from Kuta and it takes only 27 minutes to get there. Senor Beach is one of my favorite beaches in Bali. It is less crowded than some other beaches. Numerous restaurants are located on the beach, so you can dine at whatever price point you wish for three to four mile stretch. There are also colorful fishing boats, ferries to other islands, and numerous water activities you can enjoy. Ahmed Beach is 97 kilometers from Kuta, and it takes three hours to get there. Tour cost, $45. 
snorkeling or diving in Ahmed. The tour includes snorkeling or diving at the famous points Lupa Coral Gardens, Japanese Shipwreck, and Tulipan Liberty Shipwreck. To get to the Meningen Island, you leave from the Promethean Village, which is 131 kilometers from Kuta, and it takes four hours to get there. Boat ride for about 30 minutes to Menjangan Marine Park and snorkel in the ocean for about one hour to stop at the magnificent Menjangan Island. Tour cost $45. The tour for the Pineda Island leaves from the Senor Beach, which is 27 minutes drive from Kuta. Tour cost $85. You then take a 35 minute boat ride over to the Pineda Island snorkeling or diving tour in the Pineda Island. There are two sides you can go, the east of the island or the west of the island. The west of the island is most popular. This tour lets you enjoy Killing Kin Beach, Broken Beach, and Angel's Billabong Beach. You then go to Snorkel Points, Manta Bay, Wall Bay, GT Point, and Crystal Bay. Tanalat is 23 kilometers from Kuta, and it takes an hour and 15 minutes to get there. Admission cost $4.76. Tanalat. This is a famous temple and is beautiful and surrounded by water near the ocean. It is a magnificent temple, especially at sunset. Even though you are not permitted in the prayer area, there is still a lot to do. One unique feature is to touch the holy snake. Ubud Art Market is 38 kilometers from Kuta, which takes an hour and 21 minutes to get there. Ubud Art Market, located in the center of Ubud, has numerous small shops and a few varieties in terms of merchandise. Still, you can find deals on souvenirs, silk scarves, shirts, statues, handmade woven bag, hats, and so much more. Yulun Danyu Baratun Temple. This is 58 kilometers from Kuta, takes two hours drive to get there. Admission cost $4.73. Yulun Danyu Baratun Temple is a huge temple by the lake with clean bathrooms and restaurants on site. Temple was built in 1633 and is used for offerings and ceremonies dedicated to the Balinese water, lake, and river goddess, village Pengli Puran. 52 kilometers from Kuta, it takes an hour and nine minutes to drive there. Pengli Puran village is a traditional Balinese village that sells handcrafts and local products. And Gliparan villagers still carry out and preserve traditional Balinese culture daily. If you know anyone who would like this video, please share.